video I am going to show you my May favorites. And as you can see, my hair is a bit shorter than usual. <laughs> uh, I cut my own hair yesterday and I'm just, I'm so happy about the result. Um, I couldn't be more happy actually. I am, I just feel so much lighter and it's so soft and I feel so healthy again. And I know I always change my mind. One second I, I want long hair and I think I suit it the best, but then the next second I want short hair again. So I'm a bit, I, I, I have a hard time deciding things. <laughs> so I am going to show you my favorites this month. Uh, and it's a bit of a random bunch of things right here. So it's gonna be a lot of different things, bear with me. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to talk about is these shoes. Uh, these are bought on H&M um, and I'm just, I just really like them and it's perfect for spring and summer, uh, especially when it's really warm outside. You can wear this with anything really. You can wear the, these to jeans, to skirts, to dresses, to anything really. They are black so they go with every color and you just slip them on and you are ready to go. So I really like how simple they are. The second thing is uh, this dress. It's a black dress like this um, and it's very thin and it's a bit see-through on the arms. Uh, I bought this on H&M if I didn't say it. I don't think I said it. But yeah, I just love this for summer. It's so thin, it's so loose, and I don't know, I just really like it. I, I've been wearing this a lot this month because it's been warmer than usual, and yeah, I just like putting this on with the shoes that I just talked about, and yeah. I bought it about two years ago on H&M, so um, I don't know if they still sell it, but then we can move on to more beauty related stuff, like things that I use in the bathroom basically. <laughs> so I'm first going to talk about lipsticks and as usual I have been loving this Kate lipstick uh, in the shade 16 and it looks like this. I am wearing it on my lips right now and you can definitely build this up. It lasts all day and it has a really matte finish but it's not uncomfortable on the lips, it, they don't get dry. So that's why I really, really love this. The second uh, lipstick I have been loving this month is Lip Bullet by Topshop. And this is a beautiful, super red, almost orangey red. Is that a word? Orangey? Orange red? I don't know, it has an orange tint to it. I think it also has a bit of glitter in it. But yeah, it's really intense. I love this stuff. Yeah, I'm just really happy about this one. And it does last for a long time. The only negative thing I would say about this is that it feels a bit dry. Um, but you know, other from that, it's a good lipstick. I have also been loving this Soella Beauty uh, Kissy Missy Lip Balm. Uh, it's a bit sticky but the color is beautiful. I also love the taste of it, or the smell of it. It's really good. And yeah, I just, I like it. I like Soella Beauty things. <laughs> As usual, I have been loving this mascara by Maybelline. This is the, um, the Colossal Go Extreme Leather Black Volume Express. That was a long word. Uh, yeah, I have been loving this. I am wearing it right now and it just gives my lashes so much volume and it's just, it's amazing balls. I have been loving this Dove Silk Dry um, deodorant. <laughs> and this smells so good. Mm, if you like fresh scents, but you don't like the fruity ones, this is the one for you. I do like fruity scents, but um, yeah, I don't know. This just smells so fresh and it's a bit more mature smell, if you know what I mean. It's fresh, but kind of more mature. I have been loving this Garnier Skin Active. Um, it is a three-in-one wash, scrub and mask. And this 
it doesn't smell amazing, but it, you feel very fresh after you have used this. You can use this for a wash, a scrub, or a mask, if whatever you feel like. I am using this as a scrub. So what I do is I put this in my hands when I'm in the shower, and I just scrub it into my face, and then I wash it off, and I don't know, I just feel so fresh after using this, and hopefully my spots will go away. Every day I take magnesium. This is good for your body. This is good for your muscles, it's good for your bone structure, it's good for your... Um, if you are tired uh, and it gives you energy. I didn't think I would feel a difference after using this, but I had been using this for two months, I think? Two or three months, it's already empty. Uh, maybe three months or four months. Oh my gosh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've been using this every day and I swear to God, I feel more energized and I'm not so tired all the time either. I wake up in the morning and I'm fine. I'm not too tired and yeah, I just, why am I doing this? <laughs> and now over to my favorite part, movies and TV shows. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm a big movie and TV show fan. I always watch movies. I do not read books. I watch movies. <laughs> So we have a couple of favorites this month and I'm going to tell you right now. The first favorite is, uh, this is a movie from two 2015, it's The Age of Adeline, or Adeline, I don't remember, but this is what it looks like on Viaplay. This is about a woman who dies and wakes up again, um, you have to see the movie to understand it, <laughs> and she stays the same age, like forever. That's what it's about. She doesn't want anyone to know her secret for being young forever because she doesn't age. So, you know, it gets a bit suspicious. <laughs> so she's like moving around all the time and she's watching her, uh, no, not mother. <laughs> she's watching her daughter get older and older and older and she is not getting older at all whatsoever. And it's really interesting to see it is a drama movie, I think, but it's also romantic. Uh, it's not super cliche. I don't like those romantic cliche movies, but this is this is something different. I also watched an amazing movie. This is one of the best movies I have ever seen. So that that explains a bit. I can show you the picture right there. Uh, it is called Labyrinth of Lie, and um, it is from 2014. In the Second World War, they had a concentration camp where they killed people, Jews. And um, this one is called, I do not know how to pronounce this, Auschwitz? Auschwitz? I do not know how to pronounce it. This is what it looks like. You can't see it. Gosh, okay. Anyways. You, you probably know what I'm talking about, it's just my, my English is not too good. <laughs> it's about a lawyer or a detective, I think it's a lawyer, it must be, but uh, he's trying to find out more about this concentration camp um, because almost nobody knew what it was in Germany or in the rest of the world, I don't know. But very few people actually knew what happened at this camp and um, he was trying to find out more about it and it's just so good, you have to see it, I can't explain it good enough, you just, if you like history, you will love this movie and I think everybody should watch it because everybody needs to know what happened under the second world war, it was an awful time and I think it's, it's a very big part of the history. This month I haven't watched any TV shows except for Paradise Hotel. I don't want to admit it, but I do watch it and I'm kind of hooked, like I, I can't stop seeing it. It's basically a reality show, it's like, I think it's called Big Brother. It's something like that, it's just different. But yeah, it's just drama all the way and I hate drama, but it's so funny. Like. I just feel so incredibly smart when I see this show. Usually I wouldn't say this, but I just really enjoy the drama. It's just, 
and it's funny i don't know i've been watching that uh, other from that i haven't seen any other shows this month i haven't really been feeling it you know i've been doing a lot of other things i've been working i've been going for walks i have been editing and making videos and all of that stuff so i haven't really had time to watch a tv show but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this favorites video i know it's a bit early but i am traveling home next week and i don't have time to make this video later so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time